At one point, Mumu Matemu, the former Kenya Revenue Authority Commissioner for Domestic Taxes, who was picked by President Mwai Kibaki and Prime Minister Raila Odinga to head the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, had his nomination to that post questioned by Parliament, with some legislators loudly doubting whether he and his two selected deputies, Professor Jenon Songo and Irene Kano, had enough passion to tackle head-on corruption in the country. What was it that the country found in Dr. Willy Mutonga to be Chief Justice? Whatever that thing is, that is what we saw lacking. Call it credentials, call it an ideological position, whatever that thing is, that is what we felt was lacking in this candidate. Now, Mr. Speaker, this has been brought here today. Passion for the job. There is no passionometer. <laughs> with which we can measure how somebody is passionate about his job. That was then. Matemu has since that debate survived tough times to see his name recently approved by Parliament to head the anti-corruption agency. And he was only awaiting the outcome of a case challenging his appointment. The High Court has now delivered a ruling that sent Matemu crashing out of the office he had barely occupied after it nullified his appointment over integrity concerns. Justices George Odunga, Joel Ngugi, and Mumbi Ngugi say that although Matemu had been vetted, crucial integrity concerns touching on alleged improprieties he allegedly committed while he was the chief legal officer of the Agricultural Finance Corporation had not been addressed. The three-judge bench ruled that Matemu was therefore unsuitable to hold the office of the chairman of the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. It's a big win for the Kenyans who voted for the new constitution. Right now we are seeing that chapter 6 of the new constitution is starting to, to be implemented. We applaud the decision of the court today. It is evidence of independence of the judiciary. It's also evidence of the reforms in the judiciary. In May this year, an Akuru court blocked the appointment of Matemu as the chair of the anti-graft agency. After a civil society organization, the Trusted Society of Human Rights Alliance moved to court seeking to reverse the decision of Parliament and the executive to approve Matemu's appointment until hearing of the suit had been concluded. The civil society group had, through its lawyers, argued that millions of shillings in the form of unsecured loans for farmers were dished out by the Agricultural Finance Corporation when Matemu served as the corporation's chief legal officer. Matemu was picked late last year by President Kibaki and Prime Minister Raila Odinga to head the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, which had replaced the Kenya Anti-Corruption Commission. But the lack of a properly functioning top leadership at the ESCC now means that the war on graft continues to take a backseat, despite the huge problem posed by corruption in the country. The High Court judges affirmed that their ruling was to protect Chapter 6 of the Constitution, which touches on integrity. Adi Osman, Citizen Live at Nine.